Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to use a reusable K-cup on the Instapod Multipod Single Brew Coffee Maker and Espresso Maker. So I'm only going to be dealing with the K-cup side on the left hand side. I'm not going to be dealing with the Nespresso. So we can use a reusable K-cup. This is the perfect pod reusable K-cup. We're going to put our coffee grounds right in there. It's got like a, a mesh, metal mesh filter and it's got a recessed area on the bottom. So this reusable K-cup is exactly the same size as a normal K-cup, except the bottom is recessed. So the needle's not gonna puncture the bottom of this, but the needle does puncture the bottom of a K-cup. So here I've got a K-cup cut open. K-cups can only hold two tablespoons of coffee grounds, and it's ground at a medium grind. And the coffee grinds are in a paper filter. See, it punctures the bottom, but it never the needle doesn't puncture the bottom of the paper filter. So even though we're using this reusable K-cup, we can the most we can put in it is two tablespoons. So I like to brew my K-cups or eight on eight ounces. I run eight ounces through a reusable K-cup and I run eight ounces through a, a normal K-cup. Okay, so next let's talk about, so you do not have to use a paper filter in this reusable K-cup. But if you don't use a paper filter, you will get a little bit of sediment in the bottom of your coffee cup, you'll see a little bit that maybe you're not used to when you use a K-cup because K-cups have that paper filter, you don't get that sediment. But it's perfectly fine to just put your coffee right in here, close the lid, the top needle's gonna go there, the bottom needle's gonna go right in that area, and it'll brew just fine, except you do get a little bit of sediment. So I'm gonna brew two of them. I'm gonna brew one without the paper filter, and I'm gonna brew one with these paper filters. I'm also gonna be using this Easy Scoop. It's, a two, it's got two tablespoons, that's the exact amount we wanna put in this, but it's got this fancy lid, and then we can pour it right into the K-cup, which makes it very easy. So just ground coffee that you would use for like a normal drip coffee maker. If you grind your own, grind it at a medium grind. So what's nice about this scoop, you just go in there, shake off, just get two tablespoons, put the lid on, and you dump it right in. It's okay if it makes a little bit of a mound. We don't want any coffee on this lip. It might have been just a little too much, but as long as there's nothing on the lip, and we push this down, make sure that is nice and sealed all the way around. See, we've got some coffee in there. That's That could possibly leak. So if that happens, just open it up. Get all the coffee grounds off. It has to be, you want that to be perfectly flush so it won't leak around it. Push it now, push it down. And again, we don't want any coffee grounds on the outside. They will make their way into your cup. This is the perfect pod. I do like these pods, except you do get a little bit of coffee grounds out that little hole there. I just like to dump that out. Now this is ready to go. There's no coffee grounds. It's perfectly sealed. We're going to put it in. Okay, so we lift this up. We treat this just like a normal K-cup. It can go any which way, but it should sit nice and flush. And then when we close this, there's no, it, it acts just like a normal K-cup. That needle's gonna go right there. And again, I simply just press the eight ounce button. I do an eight ounce brew. I've found the coffee tastes really good. You can save a lot of money using reusable K-cups. I'm not getting any water leaking out around anywhere of the machine. It's all going through the K-cup and coming out. These are the exact same K-cups you can use in a Keurig machine. I tried the Deli Brew, the Deli Brew works. And I've also tried the iParts Plus and the Max Brew. Okay, the coffee's done. There you go, there's a nice cup of coffee in a reusable K-cup. Let me simply come up here, lift there. We can see we didn't get a bunch of water that went around the machine. It, it pretty much all went through. Be careful, those are hot. So let's lift it up, see how it did. There's the brewed coffee. Cleanup is a little tricky. You gotta get the coffee grounds out and you do have to wash this out before your next use. Okay, next let's use a paper filter. These are single serve paper filters. Perfect Pod makes some really good ones. They, they make some with a lid. I don't, I don't use the ones with a lid. So they're preformed, but you still got to push them down here. You want to make sure and get them in all the way. They kind of stick up a little bit. Now it's okay if the paper, we're going to sandwich the paper between the lid and the base. 
Now I find that I can't quite use two full tablespoons. It just makes things a little easier if you, if you just go a little bit less. So there's my scoop, put the lid on again, pours right in there. Now it's gonna mound up a little bit, that's okay. And just none on the lid, it's okay. Don't compress it, just let the lid do the work. And then you're gonna smash it down. No coffee on the outside, the lid is nice and flush. You're gonna come up here, put it in like a normal K-cup, it sits nice and flush, see any which way you put it. Close the lid, and again, I do an eight ounce brew. Coffee's really rich at first, but then it kind of gets lighter as it brews. Okay, so here we've got a reusable coffee with the paper filter in it. And it tastes really good. I, I do like the taste without the paper filter. That sediment does add, add a little flavor to coffee but it can be a little strange seen at the bottom of your coffee cup. And come over here, we lift this up. Again, be careful, these can be hot. So cleanup is a little easier with the paper filter in there. You can just grab that paper filter and it comes out. You still have to clean this off, but not quite as much. But there's the coffee that's in the paper filter, how it brewed. Okay, so now I wanna show you the sediment. Here's the one I brewed earlier without the paper filter. We'll put it over here. Here's the one I brewed with a paper filter. So you can see, yeah, there's no sediment at the bottom of your coffee cup. Here's the one with the paper filter, or without the paper filter. You do get a little bit of sediment. That's gonna look a little different to you. Now it's not, coffee grounds, it's not like big coffee grinds that are floating around in your cup, but it is sediment that you would not normally not see in a K-cup. I think it does add a little bit of flavor to the coffee. Again, with the paper filter and without. I'll put a link to all of these in the show description notes. Again, this is the easy scoop. I'll put a link to it. I've got four different types of K-cups that work really well. These perfect pod paper filters work well and just any ground coffee that's ground at a medium grind. So they work really well in this Instapod coffee maker. Thanks everybody for watching.